Hey yo, what is up guys, it's your boy Twain here, and this will be a video of a Yes We Got It, I Man 8, the very first clear that I've seen on YouTube, I'm not sure if anybody has done it before me, I'm pretty proud of this shit, willed a little bit, but yeah, let's get it popping, so I will not go over the guide, because I've already made one, if you want to see it, I'll link it down in the description, but I will show you guys the tweaks that I made into the build and the combinations that I actually did. So, to get it started, we had a small change to Chase's S1. We actually got the perk, the S1 Dark, that gives you 25% extra damage for 10 seconds, which is really great. The moment he's on the execution platform, he misses, and then I pop the skill. So, for Nikki, she got a major change onto my composition. I got real specific gear for her, a full Manticore set that will allow her to survive. And she is one that I was never worried about of dying. Gao died several times. Claus died several times. And Chase, well, Chase just got murdered. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> it was insane. So, with the Manticore set and her soul weapon, it gave me so much survivability because there's an attack reduction which cannot be cleansed so the moment you put the Rahart on down right here there will be so much attack reduction that you're practically not even getting hit so Nikki's soul weapon was an absolute necessity for me clearing this thing then for claws I had this big boo-boo that I made I wanted to give him the artifact that gives a lot of defense, the one that you get from Rogue Boss, and I got it to two star, and guess what? I didn't even need it. Guess what? It was better for me not to use it. Reason why, I was lacking damage. So will it be a good artifact to use? Yes. Will it be worth the points? I have wasted about two months worth of points for it. So if I had to give it a call, don't get it <laughs> at all. So, for the rest of the gear, I will go over that in a little bit, but let's go over a little bit of the combos that I use. So, after this guy does the Executioner platform, I make sure I pop the S1 of Chase, if I do it however. Then I wait a little bit and pop the S3 of Nikki and combine it with S1 of Claws. That gives me an instant CC bar reduction of everything. And now I hope I don't die. Luckily, my Nikki was still there with a lot of CC resistance. I was real lucky. And then I put the Rahartnon down once again with the Soul Weapon. And at this point, you cannot probably even see it, but my Claws ends up dying. <laughs> I don't even know why. He just got slapped to, to Kingdom Come. I, I, I don't even know. Executioner platform. And here I was squeezing the butt cheeks. You could, you could feel it from here, man. Oh. Was I gonna make it? <laughs> yeah, we spoiled that. Look at me being happy, man. Oh, that was ridiculous. So this took me about three hours of trial and error after I got my uh, Nikki's unique weapon to a two star. And once that upgrades even further, I know I will be having enough damage in all cases. If I can get chase to plus 18, then it would be even better. Oh, me being happy but let's get over to some gear and how I actually changed it up alrighty so this is the thing that I use for chase it hasn't really changed except for the perk part this is the 25% that allowed me to have enough damage funny enough the t5 dark gives me more survivability but I needed the damage as for Nikki she got a very specific set with a lot of P block, P block defense, some P toughness. She wasn't even using a bracelet, but yeah, I didn't even get one. And these are the perks that I got. And for the T90, that one on the top right is a definite necessity for her to survive. Otherwise, she would not survive. Now, the Infernal Whip got to Gao instead of having the HP artifact plus attack. This allowed him to well survive a little bit less but with the gear that I got the amount of HP that I got it was enough we didn't use Philip or whatever and this was the man 100 grand this was an absolute necessity to get uh, claws was the absolute god on this thing the 25% 
P damage reduction that cannot get cleansed is the crux of whatever we did here. I don't think without claws I will be able to do it. So yeah. If you guys have any questions, put it down into the comments. And as always, I will always answer them. But for now, this is Tway. Peace!